This is a setup video for how to use Reddit's new automated event setup tool for the Reddit Pixel. To access the tool, just click on the left-hand side, navigate to Events Manager, where you'll see Event Configuration on the left-hand side. If you're setting up a Pixel for the first time, the process is very similar. You just click Install Pixel, make sure you have this base code on your Pixel on the main site. And once that's done, just click Next. You'll see this box here to confirm that the base pixel code is in fact in place correctly and reporting. And once you have that, you're all set and just click open event setup tool. This will take you over to the event configuration page. You just wanna paste the URL to your website and it'll open a new tab and the tool will pop up on the left-hand side. You wanna make sure you keep both of these tabs open while you're using the tool. Otherwise the process will restart and you'll need to reconnect. So to set up an event, you have two options. You have the web element, which will append to a specific element on your website, usually something like a button or an action a user is going to take or the URL keyword function. This is a little bit more broad and we'll cover that next. So to append this, you first select web element, select the event you're trying to set up. So in this case, we'll try maybe a purchase. So purchase, you can add a nickname, purchase testing, Next, you select trigger element. And this trigger element, this is the element on your site that you want to tie the pixel events to. So in this case, because it's a purchase, we'll select this buy now button. And you'll notice the buy now button has this box just sitting just outside the button there. That lets you know this is a field that you're able to select to attach the pixel event to. So you click that, confirm here. Item count, same concept. This allows you to tie to a specific field on the site. So in this case, We'll select the quantity field, value, similar concept. I mean, some of these fields are optional. If you don't want to include things like value and currency, you don't need to, but we do recommend passing back as much metadata as you're able to. So in this case, select the chair and then the currency. Review to make sure everything's complete. When you're all done, hit save changes. If you want to add another event, just click on add events. It'll present the same pop-up. We won't do another web element because we just walked through that but now we'll cover URL. So to use URL, very similar process, but this is a little bit less specific than the web element setup. So you have two options here. You can either do a full event or a full URL, which will allow you to just type in the exact URL that you wanna use. So in this instance, we have the website that I'm on. So you have the checkout page, but perhaps you wanna use something like complete payments. Or alternatively, maybe something like a thank you screen that you know only pops up after someone has completed the purchase on your website. So you have options there. The key piece with the full URL is that the event that you're associating to this, so in this case, if we're saying a thank you, it's probably something like a purchase, um, th this pixel event will fire once someone reaches this URL, regardless of how they got there. So you need to be mindful of which URLs you're using. Alternatively, if you want to use a specific keyword from the URL. So in this instance, we said, thank you. So maybe we have, uh, we don't want to use the full URL or alternatively, you thank you for signing up to a, to a lead flow or thank you for a purchase or something like this. Um, you can just select specific elements like that. So you want to do that and you want to make sure you have the, uh, the complete form there. So once you have this set up, we'll deal with full URL right now. It gives you the option to hard code these different elements into the events that you're setting up. Again, be mindful this will apply to all of the full URLs that you're appending this to. So you need to be a little bit cognizant of how you're appending these hard coded values. But in this case, we'll do one item count and a value of, let's say, $100. Again, you can select the currency and hit save. Once you're done, just hit return to events manager and that'll bring you back to the page where you can see all of the events that have been set up. So you can review all of the events that have been associated with the, the page and the pixel. And then if you wanna test these events, you can manually enter the URL. We'll just grab the URL here. And run a test to see what events have been set up on that particular page. 
This is important because this is actually manually testing the event. So you don't need any campaign traffic to validate the fact that these events are firing correctly because what this the system is doing is actually just sending a test event to a site to confirm that the, the pixel has been set up correctly. So here we see all good. We have the page visit set up on that one and it's passing back the values that we've set up for it. You can also take a little bit more of a macro view at your setup by looking at the diagnostics tab. So we have one issue here where we have an add to cart set up using missing metadata. You know, not a big deal. This is just a test site, but it's something that you would want to at least take a look at if you're setting up the pixel on your main site. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful.